When I was first told I was going to be doing a cow ultrasound story, I thought this is going to be super fun. Heaps of cute little cows roaming around the fields. But then I did a little bit of research. You see, a cow ultrasound story is a little bit more, well, in depth. Assisting us as we dive into the subject at hand is Malcolm Heath, a vet who knows the difference between a dairy and a derriere. Malcolm, cow ultrasounds. Sounds ultra weird and, uh, look, to be quite honest, ultra gross. The question is why? Uh, well, Dwayne, the, um, we're trying to work out whether the cows are pregnant or not. So, um, our farmer AIs these cows, which generally doesn't use a bull. Okay, so that's artificial insemination? Yeah, artificial insemination. Um, to do that, he know, needs to know when the cow is on heat or in season. Um, and then um, after four weeks or so, we want to freak test them and see if he did get them pregnant or not. Uh, to get started, we're obviously going to need a heavy duty pair of gloves, aren't we? Yeah, and, and long. long <laughs> length, length is important here, Dwayne. So, um, oh, wow. you, know, it's, um, you know, it's not the cleanest job. But yeah, you need to roll your sleeves up, like right up, right there. up, so that you can get all the way in there. When checking the pregnancy of the cows, Malcolm uses an ultrasound to see inside the womb. Looks very promising, though she may well be pregnant. But today, we're doing it the old way, by feel. All right, Malcolm. So who's the lucky patient? Um, this is Daisy Bell. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we're hoping that she's um, heavily pregnant. She should be very close to calving. Okay. So we just want you to just check and make sure that, um, that there's a big calf in there. So if she's um, if she's not pregnant, we're expecting to feel the uterus, an empty uterus, which is only the, the size of sort of two sausages. All right. Um, but if she's heavily pregnant, like we're hoping, with a uh -huh. bit of luck, you'll be able to feel some, some big calf feet, maybe a calf's head, something like that. I take it this type of procedure is quite common, isn't it? Yeah, for, uh, for at least for us in um, in, in mixed practice, um, you know, cattle vets, it's a pretty routine procedure. Well, uh, no time better than the present then. All right. Oh, <laughs> it's so tight. <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> it's so warm. <laughs> That's weird. This is the weirdest thing ever. All I can feel is mush. <coughs> The smell's certainly not the best. <laughs> but there's a task at hand to see if there's a calf ready to be born. Put your hand down in it, but you know, there should be some hard bits of calf, hopefully. Yep. Oh, there's something. Oh yeah. I can I can feel feet. Yay. Oh, that's cool. To sum up the experience, gross is a pretty good way of putting it. It's warm, it's it's mushy, it's <laughs> yep, that cow just farted on me. Everything that's just happened can really be described by this look. Oh. <laughs> and for those playing at home, you would have noticed I had two gloves on. I have a feeling you did have a blue glove on on stage. There it is! <laughs> Found it! With more than 50 cows to check, it's time we handed it over to the professionals. Once Malcolm has the results back, and after nine months, a little miracle appears in the world in the shape of a calf. And the results are ultra cute. And that, my friends, is a cow ultrasound. Ultra gross, ultra weird, and because I haven't had breakfast, I'm ultra. Who's up for breakfast? Yeah?